pandemic COVID-19 situations, the whole world gathered together to, to conquer or to get rid of this pandemic situations. So the purpose of the foundation is to like promote the tolerance and uh, religious dialogue. The second objective is teaching Arabic and its culture. It's not only teaching Arabic, like calligraphy or like how to write or how to read, but it's to teach the main things of Arabic cultures, you know, to bring it here so that when we do a culture interfere or like exchange, we will know each other. And why is the teaching Arabic is important for you? Okay. And for the as, a, as, as, a, as you know, I think Arabic language considered to be number three language in the world. And next, on December, 18th of December, the Arabic Day celebrations. We'll be hosting some events on that day, our foundations. Uh, why? Because we are talking about uh, a lot of people who speak Arabic, a lot of cultures there, you know. There's an Islam, you know. And we need really to understand that uh, that culture, that uh, society by learning the Arabic language. And it's not, as I said, it's not the Arabic language itself, it's the culture of that language. Because as we see tonight, there is Alf Layla wa Layla, Alf, uh, Alf Layla wa Layla story. It's like, uh, it has been trans uh, uh, translated by Dr. Salvador Peña, he's one of my friends, which is, uh, he's very, um, he's very good guy that we had a lot of common words together. On that story, uh, I think you, you, you see the small booklets, okay? And that story it told, it tells us how we can work together, you know, as a team. There are no differences between us. Not a religion, not a color, not an ethnic, not a country, not anything. We are only one. All the kids is there, they are sitting together, listening to the story, building the story, drawings, talking to each other, understanding what is the teamwork is how can we set aside our all differences and keep it outside and come here work as a team and that thing it's not only the arabic it's it's the theme of that issues and then, and uh, and there is a lot of things a lot of things in the arabic language if we read it if we bring it to the others it, they will be having an uh, an more understanding of the arabic culture or arabic civilizations that part we are taking in our foundation is a part of translations from Arabic to Spanish and from Spanish to Arabic and we are using we'll be using the English language also on that issues. Uh, you think the, uh, from the foundation the in these difficult times cultural coexistence is an um, religious tolerance is possible? You mean uh, uh, having the religious? Yeah, the, with this time in these times. The cultural coexistence and the religion uh, tolerance is possible. Oh, for sure. In this time with terrorism Definitely. and the pandemic. The, what I think it is the it is the good time is mm -hmm. this is how we can stand to each other together, because to tell you the truth, there are like um, some extremists, okay, some people who hate that our unity, like of. If we go back, we live together since old ages, you know, Muslims, Christians, Jewish, we live together everywhere. But, and there are no differences between us. We live together, we eat together, we work together and everything. And they're like those groups, okay, who are right now is working for instability of these religions together, to make something, to throw something in between. So I believe, the tolerance and coexistence and understanding each other and to hold in each other hand Muslims, Christians, Jewish, no differences in colors, everything's together and we say, hey, please, we are together, let's fight this. What uh, Spanish people can learn about uh, Arab? What? About uh, Arab people. Spanish people? Yeah. Um, to tell you the truth, when I came here to the Spain, yeah. I found the tolerance there. I found them coexistence. I found like acceptance, you know, for Muslims, uh, Jewish, Christians together. I found it, it's like, it's like my home to tell you the truth. Whereas you find people with a smile on their faces, 
they are talking about working together, helping each other, being together, and the diversity I saw in the different universities here in Spain, I was traveling around, it's there. There's like students from everywhere, you know? There's like uh, people from everywhere, especially there's like uh, more than two, two million mm. Muslims here living, and they're living in peacefully, uh, in harmony. They are doing their worships with no obstacles, nothing. So I think Spain is a good land. That we choose Spain to start is, is a good land to start. Tolerance, because Spain is the land of tolerance, land of coexistence, land of multi-diversity religions.